can do this without breaking the wardrobe up and breaking me. Okay, so I bought this wardrobe, just picked it up, and uh, I'm going to try to slide it out of my van. Should be able to slide it out okay. Uh, the only issue I have is um, making sure I don't damage the wood and break it when it hits the uh, when it hits the uh, asphalt. I'm gonna see if I got something. Maybe I can. I got something here. Yeah, this should help. Got a. A little cushion here I'm gonna put down. I used to do this with old vend with vending machines that weighed like 400 pounds. Uh, I'd slide them out of my van. So I, I have no, no issue getting it out. I just wanna make sure I can get it out without busting it up. It's super light. Just made out of plywood and another wood trim. Super light and super dusty. This is actually wiggle it out any further. Alright, lift it up. Set it down without breaking anything. Okay. There, I got it in the van. That's actually probably the hardest part right there. It's very light, it's just very big. If I had, don't want to put it on its side. It'll break the trim. Um, 
Okay. I'm going to lift it up. Give it a side bend. I'm going to put it on my wheel here. Lift it up. Turn in. Push. Let's see. Don't put Break. No. I don't know. It's just... It's, it's almost there. I can almost do this. Good idea. All right. Block it. Lift it up. Block it. Block it. Block it. What can I put it on to block it? So I can get that leverage. Okay. Because it's so light, I'm going to use this. I can use my toolkit. I'm going to lift it up. Block it on my toolkit. That'll give me some leverage. It's a light unit, it's just very big, bulky, awkward. So I'm gonna keep blocking it up so I can get enough leverage to push it and stand it up, okay? So I've got another toolkit, <laughs> or some my uh, electric sander. So now I got it up about maybe six inches. So it's not that, easy. so it's pretty easy for me to get under and lift it up another six, and then lift up another six, uh, till I can get what I need there. So, for leverage to get it up. Maybe. Right there. It looks like a, it's like a coffin. It's like a coffin. <laughs> I may need to bring in my daughter's just to hold here so it doesn't keep sliding, but I'm gonna try it anyway. See what we do. See how it goes. Make sure we're clear. Make sure. <sighs> well, we did it. Or I guess I did it. I say we because you're my team too. So we got that up. So it just took a little bit of blocking. It just took a little bit of blocking so I can get enough leverage to lift it up. With my toolboxes. Nice unit. Yeah, I knew there see so, you know if there's a will there's a way, right? I knew if I could get a vending machine that weighed, you know, 350, 400 pounds out of my van into my garage, I could get this. Out. It's just a matter of getting it out safely and without damaging it and getting it stood up. So, and I think I have an old video of a vending machine where I did take it out where I actually got it stood up. I had quite the system to do that. If you ever find that video, I'll post it for you to see. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please like, share, subscribe. This is just another one of my part of my day. It's something that I, I like to share with people to show that hey, this it's just life. You know what I mean? This is just a part of life. I've I've adapted uh, to a wheelchair. I've been in a wheelchair for 22 years, and I just live life. I do life, and I don't. And I'm not afraid to ask for help if I need help. I will ask. Um, but usually, I'm, you know, I'm quite independent and uh, I can figure things out on my own. It may take a little bit longer, but I can do it 
and I get her done. So, anyways, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, tune in. Hit that little notification bell too, because that way you'll know what I'm up to next. You'll get notified. You can check out my other videos uh, that I have. Everything's all good that way. All right. Thanks for watching. I rambled on enough. See ya. <laughs>